start of day three. We ate. We're headed back out to Promontory once again. Woo Someone got a little excited there. And gonna go drive around out there. Should be fun. And yeah. See what we find, I guess. In this case, we're chasing history. Chasing dust. Sounds like one of those shows for History Channel. out and see some spots out along the right-of-way or the old abandoned torn up right-of-way and Gary said it's a hunter road and it is it's the kind of road the hunter would drive down at 50 miles an hour at least he'd have fun on it though <laughs> for a while this is the kind of place on a road if you're going too fast you might lose control of the car yeah and end up out in the field yeah You could get a flat tire or something out here, Gary. Uh -huh. That is correct. I wouldn't want to do that. This yeah. is bad. Central Pacific, on the way to where we go to Promontory. We're going to Promontory Summit. Not Promontory Point. Yeah, don't say Promontory Point. You'll even hear from me if you make that mistake. Can we stop here for a minute? I'll we'll take some pictures. Aside from that road in the foreground there, which apparently would have been the UP grade at some point. This is what they saw a hundred years ago. This same view here with maybe some minor differences in the height of the hills and stuff that you, you wouldn't even know the difference even if you could see it nowadays. Pretty neat. You feeling pretty foamy? I'm foaming at the mouth. I'm waiting for a train. You, what, you know when the next train? There's one up there. Here? There's one up there. Look. Oh yeah. It's a high rail. I yeah, can't. It is. I can't see it in my. What right away is that? That must be the Canadian Pacific, huh? It is north of here. <laughs> I think. <laughs> It's very windy, and it's very cold. The Jupiter replica just went through the crossing over here. It's really windy. We're gonna go sit in the car before the look of my eyes are watering. We're gonna sit in the car before the next shot of 119.
that's what they had when they were parked out there. There it is. Wow. Those are SD60s, the two back ones. That looks like it. They can't take a good look. So we got some Utah Central Railway locomotives there. Hey, yeah. okay, those are nice. I'm gonna get my real camera. Are you chasing a train? I'm chasing a train, are you? I'm gonna get out and take a still. Stay on demand. This is John. Nice How are you doing? This is Earl. Earl. Got to meet up with some. Oh, hey. Hey, I'll be some rail fans for making a chase and train party. Yeah, this is Warren. Yeah, sorry, I should have introduced you. Where's your other two compadres? Oh, they didn't come on this trip. No. Yeah, different compadres. Mike's not. Mike's at Promontory. He didn't meet Mike. Mike didn't come to Salt Lake City the first time. I met the three of you. You come to my house the first time. Right, way back. It was time. John Wiley and Robin. <laughs> is okay. Mike still sitting in the truck? No, he's still at Promontory. You guys got to go back and get him. Yeah. With my new hero, he brought donuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get to someone right there. Glazed raised. Yes, Fabio did it. <laughs> Glazed raised donuts from Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> that is. That's what's neat. Right. Right. Oh, you know what's neat? Donuts. <laughs> You gotta get the donuts. I second that opinion. <laughs> Train! Oh! I've never seen the road run so fast before. Up chasing trains here and Warren Johnson I called Warren Davis by accident on the N scale convention video a while back and he came too and I said on the podcast back in October that I wanted to apologize to him in person so I did but he told me something a minute ago about the containers going by something about the initials on the containers so what was that again about EMP there's a logo on some of the containers, it's EMP, and it stands for Equipment Management Pool. The E is in black, which is Norfolk Southern. The MP is blue, which is Missouri Pacific. And the background is yellow, which is Union Pacific. And that's the three railroads that have the consortium for the Equipment Management Pool. Which makes a lot of sense because you're dealing with intermodal traffic across the entire country, right? Right. So it makes sense that they'd want to work together somehow. Very cool information. Cool. See? You can actually learn something on... Hurt. Right? <laughs> you can actually learn something on Chase and Trains too.
show for taking the train we just filmed there headed up up the canyon here eastward toward Evanston and we're gonna try to catch this train in another spot and hopefully catch some other westbound trains as well this is a long train I was oh, really yes. really surprised they didn't have any helpers yeah, going upgrade like this. Yeah, surprised me too. Yeah. You're quite a chasing trains driver there, Gary. Yeah, this is great. Hey, you're missing the green signal over here. Oh, I could have been recording a green signal? That's right. Green signals are more interesting than I am. Okay. I'm pretty I, much of a no signal. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> So here's another train that, to me, it looks like it is probably heading uphill in the same direction that we're going because they wouldn't likely have one engine at the head of a train and because his ditch lights were off and the headlight was dimmed. So it is slowly moving the, the opposite direction though, which is a little odd. I guess we'll see what we find out. So this train's sitting on a center siding. That's not one of the mainline tracks there. Look at that. <laughs> Whoa! I'm All right, so the best we can determine is that they're having to route this train and the one that was here before onto the right main. Normally they run left-handed through here because of the grade, 
but there's a train up the line with a broken coupler or something like that. So they're having to route these trains onto the right main to get around it until they can fix it.
right, so we've returned to the promontory area. Finished chasing trains about 4.30. 4. No, about 4, actually. Up in Weeper Canyon area. So now, we're looking for Mike. Because Mike doesn't have a cell phone, so we couldn't text message him. And we told him we were going to come pick him up when we were done chasing trains. And he's nowhere to be found. So, we're going to go out to the East Auto Tour and go looking for him. You had fun chasing trains there today with those guys? Oh, chasing trains today was just fantastic. Um... So, this is the East Auto Tour at Promontory. This would be what was once the UP right-of-way, right? When mm -hmm. they This is the UP. When they built it from Cheyenne to here, I guess. connected up with the, the Central Pacific over in Promontory Summit there. And I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, it's probably in the brochure, but I'm guessing that little grade down there off to the right is probably the parallel CP grade. Because the story is that the grade crews were uh, running ahead of the track crews. So. We're on the Central Pacific grade and the one to our right. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, that so we're insane. on the Central Pacific. All right. This is called Last Cut. Yes. Oh, this is Last Cut. That's some of the most difficult work for the UP on their line is cutting the rock. It's really pretty out here, though. Look at the plains you out see, there. You see, this is the Central cool. Pacific. Yeah. According to the yeah, brochure. That's right, because yeah. the UP was abandoned because yeah. SP was given rights all the way into Ogden. Is that how that worked? Yeah. Oh. Well, anyway, so we're looking for Mike out here now because he did say that he wanted to walk this tour. Because it's only like two miles. So maybe yeah, we'll... But it, but it huh? starts so far from, from the center. He That's what I was thinking. Come out here. No, he could. He walks a lot. So, but if we find it, we'll come back and see what he has to say for himself. I think he's back there at the center. Uh, huddled in a corner. He probably is. There's more to the story, but maybe we'll come back and talk about that later. Oh, this is neat. Yeah. Yeah, they're talking about trestles and fills right here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, there, there would be down where the there. trestle was down there. Or where it was going to be. These are some nice cuts in here. This is cool. I can see Mike walking around back here. He wanted to come out here and soak up the history like I talked about before. I think this is more spectacular than the other side. It is. We should have come here earlier. This is really cool. Dramatic. And off to the side there, I'm looking, I can see down there what well, looks like was probably the grade for the UP then. It just, oh yeah, there's a culvert down there too. Yeah. So yeah, this is definitely what we're looking at. Cool. This is neat. I'm glad we came on, came out here. You're late. We're not late. We were supposed to be here at 6.30, we're actually early. You're still late. You're late for being early. Oh, well, what does that mean? Did you have fun? What'd you do? What'd you find? Uh, that's a very long and complicated answer. Would you rather bring it, answer it in the car? Yeah, let's yeah. go answer it in the car. You're not finished yet, though. Do you have any juice in your camera? Yes. Good. Yeah. I kept it charged all day. What are we supposed to be doing? What are we doing? Are we chasing trains? <laughs> I'm chasing. Gary, we could go chase a train if you want to, well, but it's, that. it's pretty late. Okay. And it's pretty cold. Besides, it's Sunday and we're in Utah. There's nothing yeah. here. There's nothing, There's nothing more to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we had a pretty good day. Uh, we all split up. We went to Promontory this morning, as you well know by now. And I stayed, and Mike they stayed went. There all day, freezing his balls off. It wasn't that bad. You get used to it after a couple hours, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it, uh, Mike the Sasquatch. But it was a fun day, Good. and I'm glad that we went on this trip. And tomorrow we go home. And then we'll be glad that we went home. I'm gonna be glad to go to bed right now. Me too. Good night. Good night. See ya.
Now we're on our way out of town. It's a long, it's a long, oh, it's a long trip home now. And here's the Great Salt Lake. <laughs> Used to be a lot bigger. Gary didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so I think uh, I'll do the first few hours and then maybe switch with John and then maybe I'll switch back into the last one. I'm pretty sure this is the Dumpy's place. No. Sure? Yeah. Maybe there's one here. There might be one here. Mike's always on the lookout for Dumpy's. Oh, I'm sorry. I kept saying Dumpy's. For those of you who missed it, we're talking about Denny's. No, Dumpy's. Denny's. Yeah, but it's dumpies if I all you're swear, doing is over here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dumpies if all you're doing is going to yeah. going there to take a dump. Hey, don't miss the train in Ely, Nevada. Turn the camera, John. Oh, no, it's too late. You missed it. That's bastard. cool. The, the Nevada Northern has a, a billboard out here. Well, gee, now the people can't see it. Oh well. Are you feeling better? Yeah. It's the first pit stop of the trip. Well, aside from. The Booger King. You came out with a big uh, spring in your step. Yeah. Hopefully there won't be another one for quite some time. Did catch this train there across the way. Choo choo, motherfuckers! It's not going very fast and it's not very long. Just smaller power on the front. Yeah. It's kind of like an SD38 or SD40 on the front. Eight. And it's a short train. I'm not sure what they're carrying. I've never seen anything loaded like that before. Hmm. It's kind of cool. What is this? We're coming up on Death Star Valley. Captain, Death Star's in, in the range. <laughs> you may fire with ready. <laughs> what the hell's a Death Star? <laughs> Hey, look, it's Gary's Oil City in Elko. Yeah, I opened this franchise a couple of years ago, and it's doing quite well. Well, the one next to it isn't. It isn't? No. No, I, this isn't mine, but Gary's is. And the reason why is is a lot of really dry areas around here, and we like to lubricate them. So oil is the thing. This trip is winding down. At this point, I'm just in a hurry to get back home. I have to work tonight because I work night shift, so. Yeah. Are you done pumping? What's that? Are you done pumping? Yeah. I'm done pumping, yes. Uh -huh. I, I was pumping Ethel. Who's Ethel? I don't know, but she was over there. That sounds hot. Where'd they go, inside? Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to get some. chasing that one. Yeah, we'd lose about we'd, probably half hour, huh? We'd be going the wrong way. Yeah. I did record this and turn the camera on because I did want to mention that is probably about the tenth train we've seen on our way back. I think so, huh? Right? Just to give people an idea of how busy this line is, it's a very busy line. Well, it's also all the way across Nevada, too. So. It is. It is. So we're going to be in Reno in another hour and 15 minutes. Yeah. It's across this state and also into Utah as well. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. But again, it's still only one day. So you could, you could sit here or sit there and see most of these trains go by. So there's these damn trucks that keep trying to pass each other, and every time I see it, I keep thinking, could you imagine a snail trying to pass another snail? <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> yeah, <there's, laughs> yeah, yeah they, they, sure, you can go and pass the truck in front of you, but what difference is it really gonna make? Well, they do get in front of each other. <laughs> so just, they, do, they do pass. But they pass them so slowly. <laughs> it's just so silly. Like, it, it seemed, it almost seems petty to me. This truck in front of me, I'm gonna take my truck and get in front of him. You look suspicious to me. Yeah. So, I would ask you anyway. Yeah, but least let's suspicious just, people are the most suspicious. Yeah, let's case. just see what they say this time. 
need is an old water tank. Okay, get ready. Let's see what she says. Or maybe it's a guy. Yeah, she's looking at she's looking at the plates. Listen, she just let everybody else roll through. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we don't. No. Oh. Oh. Wow. So they're gonna get in the car and chase you down now. Yeah. <laughs> He's got here some plates. Yeah. Get him. Hurry, get him. Hurry, hurry. But we don't have a front plate. I didn't even know that. Get the bastard. He's smuggling fruit flies those, in. Those. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I've been doing all afternoon or all morning or whatever since we left. I've been editing the next episode of Chasing Trains, not from this trip, but from the most recent trip prior to this, in which I went with Gary and Hunter to chase the Sierra Northern. So that's our timeline there. Things you can get done on a long ass trip. So we are nearing the end of our journey to Promontory. We're almost you sure it's back. Sure, recording numb nuts. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm pretty sure. I think it's got a little red dot on the screen. Does that mean it's recording? Yes. Okay. And a red thing on the front. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we wanted to talk about what we came and saw and went on this trip. Uh, so John is going to go first. Hi, I'm going first. So what did you think? Uh, well, at first, I wasn't sure if I wanted to go because it's so long, you know, trip, right? There and back, it's like 10 or 11 hours. But then I thought, I felt that way about Ely too. And then we went and it was the best trip of the year. So just like that, I had a lot of fun this time. And I was really glad to see my friends from Utah that I met earlier this year. That was really cool. I didn't expect I'd see them again anytime soon when I met them the first time and here it is only a few months later so that was pretty neat and they're all really nice people so that I think was my favorite part I really liked the replica locomotives what I liked about them most I think was the fact that they're colorfully painted you don't see that on every steam engine that we have or almost every steam engine that I've seen is just black with white lettering that's it so to see something with blue and red and just, you know, poly really polished up brown, they're show pieces, right? Yeah. So I really enjoyed seeing those and seeing them run. That was pretty cool. I thought that their museum displays were really good. And that goes also for the Ogden Museum. That, that was a really cool museum. I regretted not being able to go the first time I was in Utah a couple months ago, a few months ago, because we would have really enjoyed that Ogden uh, Museum. So, uh -huh. uh, just all around, everything about it was really great. The museum, both museums, Promontory, uh, a relatively small museum, but very well done. And I was really impressed with the uh, museum in, in the Union Station in Ogden. I, I was, uh, they have numerous very, very good displays. Inside, there aren't a lot of cars and stuff like that, uh, as you would find at uh, CSRM in Sacramento, but the individual uh, smaller displays are, are done exceptionally well. So, and it's been a very good trip. Thank you very much. Thank you, Goofy Gary. I've been wanting to come to Promontory for a long time because when I was probably four or five years old, one of the first things I remember is being read stories about the Jupiter from my mother and uh, I always wanted to see that engine. Over the years, it kind of just morphed into just a general interest in the Transcontinental Railroad in, in general. Um, and what is really interests me now is just the impact that that railroad has had over the past 150 years and it stretches to almost every aspect of our daily life where we couldn't live quite so comfortably if it hadn't been built and the things after that hadn't happened uh, so it all kind of connects together and that's what I find so interesting about being there and seeing the locomotives and uh, just all that history really drew me out there and I'm glad I really I'm really glad that I went on this trip uh, and again as John and Gary both said the Utah State Railroad Museum in the Ogden Union Station was uh, was really nice Give me a thumbs up. 
Yeah, two, thumb, two thumbs up uh, for both places, the Ogden Union Station and Promontory, the Golden Spike National Historic Site. Really, really nicely done. And out of all the places that I've been this year, including Ely, I thought um, Promontory is definitely one of the top two. The other being Ely, of course, because I had never been to that part of the state before. I'd never been there before. And likewise, I'd never been to Utah until this weekend. Never been to Promontory, so it was just really great all around. I'm really glad that I went. Anything from the camera assistant? No. Good trip. No. She liked Alvin. It was a good trip. Alvin got two thumbs up. She liked Alvin got two thumbs Fabio. up. She liked Fabio. She liked Fabio.